Our goal for the rest of this video is to create those tables and materialize views through code. Because if we do that manually by hand, we, we have to redo the same every single time we run a Docker container. Same goes for the new developer joining our team. So just like the generation of mock files, which we automated in the previous video, make sure to check it out if you haven't done so, link above. We want to make creating tables and materialize views as easy as possible. We want to do it with our beloved Golang and GoSQLX, which is officially provided by the Scylla team and is an all-around package for working with Scylla. Now let's head over to Docker Hop and search for Scylla DB and pull the latest image. Once pulled, fire up an instance and have it running in the background. Make sure we give it a name. Also expose the port 9042 to other services and localhost. And now running a Docker PS to ensure it's up.